What is a quilt? Well, there are two ways to answer that question. I can go into the emotions of a quilt and how it feels to have an object that is made with love, attention and care around you. How it feels to hug a quilt like that at night. Or when you are a little bit stressed to feel like the little pillow effect a quilt has in your fingers. Or I can talk about how good it feels that you have memories in your quilt, such as the dresses of your kids, a shirt of your wife, or like maybe the clothes of a dearly lost sister who died. I can tell you about how wonderful it feels to wrap like a quilt made out of those clothes around you when you miss that person a lot. I can tell you about that side of quilting, that it's like a living memory. It's a way to make memories last. It's a way to make you feel at home in your house and in your life because it's an object of comfort for yourself. And I can also tell you that it's a sustainable object because uh, you can learn how to use old clothes that cannot be used for anything else anymore. I can tell you all those things about what a quilt is. But I can also tell you about the technical side. That a quilt is a very strong object because it consists of three layers which are sewn together. It is made um, with care and attention because it's a very lengthy process. It's also a very technical process. It's like a craft. You can get better and better and better at with years of practice. It's, it's also a way to have a circular textile economy because uh, instead of throwing away clothes you cannot wear anymore, you reuse them in quilted objects such as a blanket or a pillow or something like that or a bag. It's a way to keep those, te <laughs> keep those textiles in the system. So I can tell you also about the technical side of the quilt, about its rich history that goes back centuries of women and men all over the world who used quilting to keep their families warm, to make a little bit of money and to repurpose every tiny scrap they had into a beautiful object that is also useful. I can tell you about that history of the quilt, where people came together in the form of quilting bees, where they could talk to each other, share their worries, share their joys and make objects. Like they would make a quilt for a Somebody who would leave house and started to settle in their own house. A group of women would come together and make a quilt for that person. So I can tell you about how a quilt brings community back together and actually creates community. Because you make something together that will last new families for a long time. I can also tell you about the mindfulness aspect of quilting. Where quilting is... A way to work with your hands and to quiet down your brain. So if you have a lot of worries in your life, they will go in the stitches of your quilt. A quilt can mean many things. And telling you what a quilt is can take me on many different routes. So what I want to know from you now is what you want to know about quilting. I invite you to let me know in the comment section which story of the quilt you would like to know or what part the technical, the mental health, the mindfulness, the community building, the sustainability, any part of the quilt you want to know more about. Let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. You can also find more information at kickassquilts.org and that society's trash will be your treasure.